Charlie Bonnie here with UCCS Athletics, here with Tim Haas of the UCCS men's basketball team. First off, Tim, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Now, Tim, basketball season is almost back in action. You guys have had, you know, your first practices, had a couple of scrimmages. Really, tell me, how is the team doing right now? We're doing uh, really well. We've got a very young team this year, uh, but we've been having really high-paced practices and uh, definitely trying to sort of work out the, uh, you know, the kinks here early. But we've been doing a good job here during the preseason and working hard every day. So we're we're very uh, positive, looking uh, forward to uh, starting the season off. And looking just a little bit, a little bit back at last year, you guys lost Alex Welsh. Dalton Patton and Kendall Godley, three main scorers and contributors on this team. So really, who needs to step up this season and what's the identity of this team? Uh, as I mentioned, we're a very young team and obviously those three guys, uh, all three of them got the opportunity to continue their careers professionally over in Europe, which is awesome for them. Uh, so uh, we're looking for our young guys uh, to step up and make some immediate impacts on the team. Uh, definitely uh, Brandon Malone looking to continue his uh, his good shooting here. We got Dalton uh, Walker starting to step up and Blenda Vili and uh, as well as a couple freshmen that are going to step in. So uh, continue looking for the, the things from our returners and then also uh, looking for our freshmen to contribute in a big way this year. And talking about the freshmen, you guys have three freshmen this year. Uh, Jeff Kelly, Padilla Wang, and Will Ross, and then a transfer, Justin Smith. Really, what do you expect from them, and how are they going to contribute this year? Uh, well, actually, uh, Will Ross is going to redshirt. Uh, we have Chris Moody here. He's going to be um, he's going to be our freshman this year, as well as uh, uh, Ed from Australia, um, and then Padilla and, and Jeff, as you you mentioned. Um, so all those guys bring definitely a, a pretty uh, wide array of skill sets uh, to our team. So they're going to be uh, helping us in in a lot of different ways, whether it's rebounding or shooting, or um, you know just making sure that the ball is getting moved around well and and, and they, I, I believe that they all know their role very well, so uh, we should be looking to have a good season from them. And this weekend is the first weekend of actual play. You guys are heading off to Texas for the Texan Tip-Off Classic. First off, just talking about that first game against Texas Permian Basin. What do you guys really know about them, and what do you guys need to do to get that W? Not much. We don't know too much about them. They, I believe they have like 11 transfers or something like that. So uh, obviously it's very hard to make a scout when you don't, you know, they, they probably don't know too much about themselves either. So uh, we, we know that they're going to be a, a, a pretty fast-paced team, pretty athletic. And so we've been, uh, our coach has been working real hard to sort of uh, uh, scrimmage up some uh, film of them, you know, even though they're all transfers transfers and stuff and they've done a very good job of uh, preparing us um, for what to expect you know to, to the degree that we can uh, so we're, uh, we're gonna go out and play hard uh, regardless of you know what their team looks like and we feel comfortable with what our team looks like so uh, we're ready for the game and then after that you guys are going back and to Tarleton State and this is the third year you guys have played them and you've played them in the NCAA tournament, played them in a couple of beginning games. Really, what do you guys expect from them? And is there a little rivalry going on? Uh, I don't know if I would call it a rivalry um, since we got the distance. You know, they're obviously in a different conference than we are, but uh, it's it's been tough playing down there uh, the last couple times, no doubt. Um, they have a great fan base. Their their town really comes out and supports them, them pretty uh, uh, pretty strongly during the game. So we, we uh, feel more comfortable going into it this time now that we know what to expect. Uh, uh, and as I mentioned, the environment and so forth and that their athleticism. So we feel a lot more prepared this time that uh, we, we sort of know what to expect. And we've, we've gotten a couple, time, a couple games into mature and sort of uh, know, uh, you know, know their pace and, and so forth. And just looking at yourself, you're one of two seniors on this squad. Really, how have you taken that leadership role this year? And what is your personal role for this year? Uh, well, as I've mentioned a couple times, we're a young team, and um, I don't I don't expect to be coming out and scoring you know 25 points a game or anything. Uh, I see my role on the team as a, a leader in developing the younger guys on our team and developing developing them into the leaders that I know that they can be, uh, and, and really just getting the full potential out of them. So my goal for the season personally is just to leave them with, in a better spot than uh, they came into um, you know in August when when they stepped on campus. So uh, Coach Culver's really been stressing building a, a successful program, and you can't just do that overnight. You know, you got to bring in the right guys, and, and he's done that. So um, I've been very fortunate to, you know, get to play all four of my years here, and um, I'm excited to help develop them into better players this year.